Here's how you process your feelings of failure and turn it into energy, internal motivation, and hope. There's no such thing as failure. <laughs> First of all, let's just debunk this because it's not true and it won't help you at all. Failure is real. If you started a business and then went bankrupt within the first six months, then you failed. But at what? Did you fail at life? Did you fail at being an entrepreneur in general? Or did you fail at that particular business which was your first try ever? Let's just say you chose the wrong career. You went into consulting but you know that you always wanted to be a real estate agent. Did you fail at life or did you fail at having a successful career or did you fail at choosing your first career right after graduation where you have no better idea what to do? Is it global or local failure? Think about this carefully because this will decide how you deal with failure in general. And here's where failure framing comes into play. See, if I frame this plant here, it seems as though there's only one plant in the whole world. If this one dies, there are just no more plants. But now if I change the framing, you see three plants in the frame. If I mess up one plant here in the middle, there are still two others. That one plant that died because I didn't take care of it was one local failure. The failure is me taking care of that particular plant at that particular point in time. But it doesn't mean that it will ruin my success with all other plants in the future. Or let's say that you have a four-old-year niece who's trying to learn how to tie her shoelaces but she's failing multiple times. What would you as her aunt or uncle tell her? Would you tell her that it's global failure? Perhaps not. Or local failure? Now back to you. If right now you're at midlife, you can definitely avert global failure. If you're at quarter life, if you're 25 or 30 years old, then you still have many opportunities to turn your life around. But what if you wait until you're 80 or 90? Then yes, global failure is a possibility. Now try and take stock of those things that you regard as failures and be completely honest and fair with yourself. Are these global or local failures? If your faucet is leaking, you either fix it or get someone else to help you fix it. You don't blow up your entire kitchen or house, hopefully. So if you've experienced a local failure, wouldn't you do the same? Troubleshooting requires you to find out what the actual problem is. Each of us has specific weaknesses and that's normal. Very likely you either have one or two main weaknesses that have surfaced again and again throughout your life that has caused problems multiple times. And if you can identify that, then you have something concrete to work with. More concrete than just be positive or don't give up. One of my weaknesses used to be my lack of awareness of my emotional state. So when I was working in banking, I completely ignored what it was doing to my mind and body. I just kept on hustling until all of my frustrations and exhaustions culminated and turned into a full-blown burnout. Now that I know myself better, I take the time every few weeks or months to reflect and ask myself, what is it that I'm actually doing right now? Am I on the right path or are there things that I need to change? I have much, much more awareness of the state of my mind and emotions now and that has helped me to make better decisions. So what are your central problems? It could be, as is the case for many people, extreme procrastination or oftentimes falling prey to the sunk cost fallacy where you continue your course of action even though it's no longer beneficial to you or having an extremely thin skin that makes you avoid any kind of social situation that might invite critique or just being too trusting and relying too much on other people and many, many others. Let me know in the comments below what your central problem is and that might have led you to making some mistakes or experiencing failure. The good news now is that once you've identified that central problem that led to your failure or some of your failures, then you can fix it. And don't get me wrong here, you're not fixing you as a person, but you're fixing one problem that you have and that's okay. 